Improving access to resources while preserving and replenishing those resources is what we do at Veolia. Each day, we produce drinking water to cover people's needs while securing supplies over the long run. The water treatment technologies we use are tailored to local conditions and they all meet public health standards, bring water to the places that lack it and protect the environment. Here's how and why at a glance. We extract water in natural environments, rivers or lakes for example. We can also draw it from groundwater tables. To protect this resource over the long term, we measure and monitor water availability, quality and extracted volumes over time. A screen covering the water intake blocks the largest objects. Then we pump the water and channel it to the drinking water production plant. First, we remove the suspended matter in the water. Here, screens block the solid waste and rakes then lift it out. Then, we add a coagulant to the water. The dust, soil particles and other residual material gradually combine into clots, which are called flocks. Gravity drags these flocks to the floor of a large settling pond and we remove them. Meanwhile, a system of inlets harvests the clean water at the surface. Then we filter the water. This is the key step during this first phase. One or several thick layers of sand capture the finest materials. In some cases, activated carbon or porous membranes can also be used. Then we disinfect the water with ozone, a gas that destroys viruses and bacteria. We can also do this with chlorine or ultraviolet rays. Lastly, we add one drop of chlorine for the equivalent of five bathtubs of water. Chlorine prevents microorganisms from developing while the water is in the network. We use sensors and run analyses to monitor water quality and adjust it if and as required at each step in the treatment process. Now the water is fit for human consumption, meaning it is perfectly safe to drink. We can store it in tanks before we distribute it to consumers.